Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in verse 31, وَلَنَبْلُوَنَّكُمْ حَتَّى نَعْلَمَ الْمُجَاهِدِينَ مِنْكُمْ وَالصَّابِرِينَ وَنَبْلُوا وَأَخْبَارَكُمْ We will surely test you until we ascertain those of you who wage jihad. Don't think that in this world you are free and you are here to enjoy. Especially when you say, I am a mu'min, you should prove it. We will test you and we will give you the chance to prove that you are a mu'min, to prove that you are mujahid. Then Allah, to encourage us to be mujahid, to be patient, to be a real mu'min, explains about dunya. He says, إِنَّمَا الْحَيَاةُ الدُّنْيَا لَعِبٌ وَلَهْبٌ وَإِن تُؤْمِنُوا وَتَتَّقُوا يُؤْتِكُمْ أُجُورَكُمْ وَلَا يَسْأَلْكُمْ أَمْوَالَكُمْ The life of the world is just play and diversion. But if you are faithful and God worry, He will give you your rewards and He will not ask your wealth from you. This life, this temporary life, this short life is just a playing. And suddenly we see we have nothing. All money, wealth, houses, everything we see finished. We are in another world and sometimes we see we are poor. One minute before we, we thought we are rich and suddenly we see that we are in another world and they tell us you have nothing. You didn't send anything for your life. Then Allah says, but if in this world, if you have a chance to really believe, to be faithful, to do your best for the sake of Allah, to be patient, to control yourself, your lust, your shahwa. If you are a mu'min and you control yourself, be muttaqi. If you are really mu'min and faithful, Allah says, for sure we will give you a lot in your real life and even in dunya. And don't worry, we don't ask your wealth. Wala yas'alkum amwalakum. Don't be afraid. Don't think that if you are mu'min, I will tell you, give all your money, the money that I gave you to you. That is my money, of course, my risk. No, I don't ask. Because in yas'alkumuha fayuhfikum tabkhalu wa yukhrij adhanakum. Should he ask it from you and press you, you will be stingy. And he will expose your spite. I ask you, give some part of it. 10%, not all of it. A moment should say, I give everything. And this is the reason that shuhada are in high level of Iman. Because they gave the best thing that they have, that is life. They gave their life for the sake of Allah. Allah says, but no. There you are, being invited to spend in the way of Allah. I ask you to spend not all your money, but some of it. From what I gave you, I ask you to give for the sake of Allah. Yet among you, there are those who are stingy. It's difficult for them to give. And whoever is, is stingy, is stingy only to himself. Because Allah is the all-sufficient and you are all needy. You need to spend. You need to send something for your real life. I am ghani. You are faqir. While you have time, while you have opportunity in this world, give, spend, and know that if you turn away, he will replace you with another people.